YouTube family. We are back in our kitchen. And as you know, over the past couple of months, we've been doing a full DIY on this kitchen. This room wasn't even a kitchen. It's never been a kitchen, which meant we needed to tackle absolutely every square inch of this space. Electrical, plumbing, building an island, putting in some of our dream fixtures. There's never been a stove in here. This is a pretty incredible transformation from start to finish. I saw some photos on our computer yesterday and I was like, oh my gosh, I almost forgot already what it looked like before when we got started. And so today we're gonna to tackle one of the projects that we were wanting to do as part of sort of like a dream element in the kitchen. We really wanted to have a small wood stove in this space, which meant that we were going to have to have some type of tiling for fireproof safety behind the wood stove. And we thought it would look kind of silly just to have a like a section behind the wood stove. And since we would likely need a backsplash in this kitchen area anyways, we've decided to go from floor to ceiling, literally top to bottom against this whole back wall. So you can see we have our DIY cabinets here that we're just getting ready to do the final coats of paint on. But before we do any finishing touches, we want to make the mess that's going to ensue on putting on all of these tiles. What we're going to be doing is putting on a faux marble tile. They're porcelain and they look very similar to kind of the vibe we have going on with the countertop. And I think these large tiles are going to look really nice. We saw some inspirations on Pinterest several months ago that didn't have grout lines. And we liked the clean look of the less grid pattern on the wall. So we're gonna see if we can make this look a little more minimalist without the grout and make this kind of look really cohesive against the wall. Okay, fingers crossed this works. We'll have to go to plan B, which there really isn't one. So Philip's gonna help me use the wet saw to cut it, and we're gonna start mixing our mortar and get these on the wall. When we were working on the DIY cabinets, we didn't adhere them to the wall and put the backers on because we knew that once we got to this step that we would have to move everything. And so that's what I'm gonna do is move all of the things, the components that are on this side, unplug the stove, move everything over, and take down our hood vent, which we haven't painted yet, and get this all out of the way so that we have full access points to getting all of these tiles on the wall. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay The sun could go out, we're gonna be okay Before the blue skies wake We need a bigger house just to move all the things we need for the renovation <laughs> So I was just working on getting the drywall put back into place from when the electrician came to set up the plug for the stove there. So that's gonna give us a base for the tile to go on. Otherwise we would have had to try to float them over. So that's obviously not the right way to do it. We're gonna use a combination of a wet saw and a dry cut saw. And then we're gonna be able to start cutting our tile. Hey YouTube family, I'm back. I'm still <laughs> broken, but I'm here. And Alicia has the first cut lined out for me. So I'm gonna go ahead with the wet saw and get it really wet, so. If you remember when we did our fireplace, Philip was absolutely drenched. I was spraying him in the face. It was quite funny, but hopefully today he won't be quite as wet because we need to keep this soft cast dry. <laughs> you are going to get soaked. Open air, side by side, we sway there in all the colors.
Ouch. Worst sound ever. Sorry. Nice cut. <laughs> worth the sound. It's totally worth the sound. Okay, so this is my update. I've been working all morning on getting more of these tiles on. This is a long process, but I'm being a bit of a perfectionist doing it. I just put my next batch of mortar together so that we can work our way up this wall. But so far, we're loving it. The table's pretty much done for. We fixed it, as you saw, we refinished the table, and a couple weeks later, it did the exact same thing, and those oils just came back in, so we're gonna get a new table. So those of you who are thinking, what are you doing on your table? It's not staying. This table's been awful since we got it. I needed the big one this time, because last time, I buttered the back of the too small one. <laughs> I'm all the way across the bottom of the room here and we're gonna make some cuts now and work our way around this window so I can finish this whole section here and then I'll work on the cuts on this side. New work attire, YouTube family. This is how quick I'm moving right now. Oh boy. Super speedy. He literally can barely put any I'm weight like down on it. <laughs> Aww, he still can't put any weight on his foot. That's the extent of it. And after about four steps, I think that's pretty much tiring your foot right out. But I like to do it every little bit. He's trying, <laughs> still really tender. But we're in a soft boot, so at least we can take it off and- Yeah, his boots are high. I live on the most beautiful property ever. So if there is a place to break your foot. This, this is, is the, the place. place, this is true. Plus you've been getting five star treatment, all of us. The boys have been kind of <laughs> loving, strangely enough, taking care of you so much. You guys have been doing such a good job. Yeah, holding down the fort. But today we're like, we got, we're gonna get moving back oh with gosh. some of the renovations because oh, at yeah. least some of your pain is gone and you're kind of in a little bit better spirits now. I mean, you've been in good spirits the whole time, but I mean like now not as swollen and less pain. So. Well, I mean, I'm wanting to like get up and do something. I mean, I'm going stir crazy. If you've ever oh. broken anything, the foot's yeah. kind of the worst or lag, like I can't go really yeah. anywhere. I'm not really mobile. At least if you broke your arm, you yeah, would be able still. to like walk easily to get yeah. to and from somewhere or, you know, go walk down to the beach or something. But now it's kind of, I can't Ooh. carry you. No, so now <laughs> I see the beach from the car. It's there, I see you. Ooh. I wave, it waves back. It waves back? <laughs> nice one. <laughs> We've been in too long, clearly. Yeah. I'm losing it. We made a whole bunch of mortar yesterday and we left it and we thought we would tie up the bag really tight. Hopefully we could seal the air from letting the mortar set, but we, we were so tired by the end of the day. Yeah, like, we were wrong. We lost a whole bucket's worth of mortar. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Please help. Another piece. Once the wall is completed, our next step to finishing the kitchen is getting the windows framed in, 
trimming everything on this room so that we can have this whole room painted. And as you know, we still have a few cupboards that we did for our DIY build cabinets that are not painted yet. And some are just primed. And so we need to paint them and obviously get their finishing clear coats on. Should I paint inside the drawers or not paint inside the drawers? I'm gonna line the bottom of the drawers with that marble looking uh, Mac tech stuff that I had got. I have some that's like a foam and some that's more like a contact paper. Yeah. But should I paint the sides and the inside shelves of the drawers? I'm painting and had the inside painted already on some of the actual cabinets. So when you open it up, they're obviously painted and look done inside. Should I do the same thing to the drawers or should I just leave them wood inside? Okay, let me know in the comment section. I think I know what I want to do, but what if most people, are their drawers painted inside or not? Oh, the wall looks magnifique, baby. <laughs> it's been a long day. We are in the home stretch. Fingers crossed. Okay, it's super late. We've been working all day, but we have a finished wall. Ah! Now we have so much cleanup to do, and we're gonna put everything back where it goes. Tomorrow we'll be able to do some of the finishing painting, but what do you think of the tile wall? 